Hey, how's it going YouTube? In this video, I'm going to be in Wood River, Illinois and East Alton. Both of these cities have seen population declines. If you enjoy my videos, make sure you drop a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can get more amazing content just like this video. Wood River, Illinois is about a 30 minute drive north of downtown St. Louis. Both of these cities are located in Madison County and have seen a slight yet continuous population decline over the years. In fact, Wood River's downtown nearly resembles that of a ghost town. Let's get to it, shall we? I do start the video out in East Alton after my first attempt at filming this particular video was ruined by rain. I remember trying to push the envelope on this one because rain kept getting in the way of many videos that I attempted to film in the Metro East region on this trip. This was my third day filming videos in the area as well because of the rain when I was only supposed to spend maybe only two days in the region. The weather forecast called for partly cloudy skies during the whole trip but instead it was very light and misty conditions which at times was just a enough to get on the camera lens and make for bad video quality. Anyway, Wood River is in Madison County on the Illinois side of the St. Louis metro area. The region is also known as Metro East. Metro East had a population of just over 700,000 in the 2010 census, and it is estimated to have a population of around 680,000 today. Illinois taxes are some of the worst in the country, and Illinois is also one of the least business-friendly states. It's the main reason why Illinois has lost a higher percentage of people than any other state over the course of the last 10 years. High taxes make it difficult for towns with already struggling economies to try and turn things around. This is Ferguson Avenue, which is basically the main street of downtown Wood River. I remember thinking that this looked like an old western cowboy town with the looks of some of the buildings. Even though Wood River was never anything close to being a cowboy town, Wood River developed in the early 1900s as industries set up shop with easy access to railroads and the Mississippi River. Today there are several refineries south of town and quite a few chemical storage tanks. In between the actual town of Wood River and the Mississippi River are a few more factories that are still in use as well. Wood River today has a population of 10,000, which is down from a 1970 peak population of 13,000. Since 1970, the town has continued to lose people every census count at a rate of around 5%. Losing only 3,000 people might not seem like much, but if you do the math, 3,000 is 23% of 13,000, and that puts the issue into more perspective. When a town loses people, that creates a lower tax base for the city to work with, which makes it harder to provide services such as trash pickup, police and fire, and so on. On. Make sure to drop a like for that amazing insight. On the right you can see a few out of the many chemical storage tanks that surround the southern part of Wood River.
Property crime in Wood River is out of control, as the latest data shows that the property crime rate is 5,200 for every 100,000 residents. That's more than twice the national average. Property crime includes things like stealing cars, stealing things from people's homes, and burglaries. The violent crime rate isn't as bad, but it's still at a rate of 580 for every 100,000 residents, so things could still be better in that aspect as well. The median household income for Wood River is $44,000 a year, and 21% of the residents are living in poverty. That might explain some of the high property crime rate that we see for Wood River, but I've seen plenty of towns with a 20% poverty rate that don't experience as much property crime. As you can imagine, drug usage is bad here too, as it is throughout much of Metro East. Only 88% of adults 25 and older graduated high school here, which is a pretty low number, and 14% of adults 25 and older have a bachelor's degree or higher. Wood River is definitely not the worst city in the Metro East region, but it's not without its issues either, and I'm just being factual. Wood River shares its high school with nearby East Alton, as it's called East Alton Wood River High School. The athletic teams here go by the name of the Oilers, as the main employer of the area back in the day was the Standard Oil Company. Standard Oil opened up in Wood River back in 1907 and closed down in the mid-1990s. Make sure to drop a like for that amazing insight.
And we are now in East Alton, which if you couldn't tell, is basically the same community as Wood River. I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but I feel pretty good in saying that as the two suburbs share the same high school and have almost the exact same statistics in many other categories. The property crime in East Alton is 3,800 for every 100,000 residents, which isn't as high as Wood River, but it's still pretty high. East Alton has a population of 6,000, which is down from a 1960 peak population of 7,600. Not quite as high of a percentage loss that we see in nearby Wood River, but it's still a loss nonetheless, as it's been losing around 4% of its population every census count since 1970. The median household income here is $45,000 per year, and 18% of the residents live in poverty. 84% of adults 25 and older graduated high school, and 18% of people 25 and older hold at least a bachelor's degree. East Alton resembles Wood River a lot more than it does Alton. Maybe it should have been called North Wood River. And just like Wood River, East Alton definitely isn't the worst city in the Metro East region. Driving here on a cloudy day doesn't help, but I can't control the weather. As I've said, the weather forecast called for partly cloudy skies during the four days that I planned on being out, and on at least three of those four days, it was light rain with misty conditions. Don't blame me, blame your local weather person. Just kidding, don't blame them. They can't control the weather either. It's always unpredictable no matter where you go.
Well, that's about it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe, as doing all of those things helps these videos out with the YouTube algorithm. Also, make sure to check out my Metro East playlist, among others, that might show more videos that will interest you. And as always, hit that notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I upload a new video of an area near you. We'll see you next time. Peace!